Hi, good morning all and thank you so much for joining today's exclusive webinar on buyback. My name is Ashish Asthana, your digital evangelist. All right. So now let's try to understand uh, what is buyback and uh, can we, is it an opportunity? So yes, of course, it is an opportunity. All right. So let me tell you that basically TCS have come out with a huge buyback of 16,000 crores and they will be taking at 2100 per shares okay whenever these buybacks come we provide our uh, note as well so we have issued our note and on that time the price was 1840 and currently the CMP is about 1988 plus right still uh, earning potential of about 100 plus per share I would say right so but then that depends completely on the record date so let me explain you uh, how this all works okay so in the recent past there has been large buybacks from different IT companies like Wipro, TCS and HCL technologies where investors have made money by buying shares from the market and tendering in the buyback. So of course it is a earning opportunity right investors can definitely earn now in this scenario buyback means the company what is buyback buyback is a corporate action taken by that organization wherein they repurchases the shares from the market okay and at a higher price than the current market price thus giving the investor a little premium on that so that is all about buyback but now if you already holding shares of that company probably then definitely you would have taken uh, uh, at may, maybe much lower rate and then you are selling it, tendering it in the buyback, higher chances of getting the gains, right? That is one. And second is whenever the buyback is announced, investors generally purchase those shares from the open market and tender in the buyback. So that is also possible because I have already uh, gone through the questions that I've received so far and uh, majorly I have seen uh, customers asking question, if buyback is announced after, after that, can I purchase shares, can I get benefited? So yes, of course you can, uh, but it is very important to stay updated when the news of buyback comes, okay? Because when the news of buyback comes, immediately people start buying price rallies, but you need to be very sure that the record date, record date is very important because the company will issue, it will take the buybacks of those customers who are having shares in their DMAT account as on the record date, okay? So, now let me tell you what are the types of buybacks okay so types of buyback we have one is open market buyback and other one is tender offer okay so tender offer is an opportunity of making money as company offers at a premium to the current market price right now what are the advantages as per SEBI guidelines 15 percent of the buyback size to be reserved for retail investors means shareholders who are holding their shares worth up to 2 lakh rupees as on the record date. So if it is more than 2 lakh rupees, then it won't count as a uh, retail investor. If it is up to 2 lakh rupees or less than that, it will count as a retail investor. And for that, say we have put across 15% uh, has to be reserved for the retail investors. To participate in stock investment option opportunity, that means with limited downside. So in buyback, the downside is limited. To provide an ex additional exit route to the shareholders when shares are undervalued or maybe sometimes thinly traded. So that time buyback becomes really a good opportunity. Okay. Now let me again tell you what is the process of buyback. All right. So whenever any company comes up with a buyback, they put across a news and then they announce a record date after that. So customers will be eligible for buyback when they have shares of that company in their DMAT account as on that record date. So now record date of TCS have not yet come. So you have to be stay updated on that. Okay. If your record date just for an example I'm taking is 15th. So on 15th of that day, the shares has to be in your DMAT account then you are eligible okay now entitlement also is there so you know 
the entitlement whatever your holdings would be that is informed by the company they send the buyback offer letter to all their investors who are eligible who have applied you get uh, who are holding those shares they definitely get an entitlement letter in that that is a percentage okay how much that company is expecting uh, what is the ratio of acceptance so uh, for example if the company said we'll be taking 10% you are holding 100 shares and the 10% is acceptance ratio so minimum 10 shares would be taken as a buyback however as an investor you have rights to apply for all you can apply for entire uh, 100 shares as well that depends on, upon the company and the subscription as on that date uh, maybe they can take more than 10 or minimum they will take definitely 10 okay. now and investors can apply for buyback as per entitlement quantity or they can apply for all as i just told you you have to apply during the issue period okay now the entire process of buyback takes about 15 days to complete and the best part is that with HDFC securities you can do this online hassle free okay now let me show you uh, the recently uh, gone by uh, the, uh, the past buybacks that is the uh, Infosys and Wipro what was the impact of the earning okay as on the date when it was announced definitely the customers who are holding it uh, from long term that would be any which way a, a fantastic offer for them but even after the buyback uh, was announced what was the impact so over to my computer screen now so you can see Infosys and Wipro okay on the price when the, the notice was issued that was uh, 873 and the price when we issued our internal uh, note on buyback was again 873 and the buyback price was 1150 for Infosys and 320 for Wipro right however that point of time the prices were 873 for Infosys and 292 for Wipro when we released the note the issue size was of about 13,000 crores and for Wipro it was 11,000 crores their record dates were 1st November and 15th September and absolute uh, returns earned on 2 lakh invested I mean to say the people who are having who have invested 2 lakh rupees they have earned this much amount 51,786 for Infosys and 19,425 for Wipro number of days they stayed invested about 127 and 151 respectively getting an annualized return for Infosys was 74.4 percent and for Wipro it was 23.50 percent right so that's the power of buyback what i can say uh, a fantastic product for the investment opportunity right and making money now let me show you how you can place order for buyback online okay so over to my computer screen now and let us see how you can do that so you have to log in this is how the login section looks Go to equity under the equity the last option is buyback you can see here click on buyback dashboard the moment you click on buyback dashboard you can see the current buybacks which are running okay next to the dashboard you can see the order book security limits and your demat balance so for your convenience we have put this option as well here if any of the buybacks are going on and you have that in your DMAT balance it will be displayed so let's see in this scenario the buyback is of uh, Agzo and Jagran Prakash so let me see does it does this account in this account DMAT balance does the shares are there or not so for that I just need to click on the DMAT balance and here we go you can see no DP securities available so this makes it really easy and convenient for us to check whether do we have those shares or not in case if we have multiple shares right now let's go to the dashboard and I will show you how to place order online because majority of questions I have received from our investor that was how to place buyback order online okay so when you see that specific buyback is there okay you can there will be a, a issue period you can see the start date okay and you can see the price 
settlement date and the record date all the details are mentioned out here and of course the cutoff date that means the last date to apply for buyback right record date is very important uh, investors because as on the record date shares has to be there in your demat account so please be careful on that part okay now you just need to click on apply the moment you click on apply this quick submission panel buy panel opens up depository selected dpid or account number details are there floor pricing is already there now here you just need to enter the quantity okay so if you have purchased 1000 shares entitlement you have received as an offer letter in your email and you see it is 10% so that means you are eligible for 100 shares but how much you can apply that's completely your choice you have 1000 shares right so you can simply put 1000 here if you wish facilitated core if somebody have facilitated you your uh, relationship manager just enter his code whatever it may be any remarks specifically you want to add and click on submit the moment you click on submit you get a pop up message please ensure that the quantity tendered was available in the demat account selected on the record date check the booklet if sent by the company or any communication from the company or rta any quantity more than the quantity available may be rejected by the depositor of the company right so that is how it is so you click ok your order would be successfully placed and then as you can see the relevant information is already provided here the settlement will happen on 26th so it will happen on 26th and you can check your status here because once you place the order then it will go to order book and you can check the details here okay. so in case if all the shares are taken by the company then your entire uh, holding would be uh, processed under buyback and you will get uh, quantity multiplied by, multiplied by the offer price and that amount would be credited in your account okay and it will go from your demand as well as from your portfolio but in case if there is a you know uh, the entitlement only have been executed in that scenario so you are having 1000 quantity 100 as per 10 percent if i'm uh, for example i'm taking 10 percent as the entitlement so 100 shares will be processed under buyback and you will still see uh, 900 shares in your account that will you will see in your portfolio as well as in your demand okay so that's all about uh, buyback webinar today uh, to all our viewers now we, will, we are open for questions and answers so in case if you have any specific questions you can please let me know let me see what questions i have as I already majority of questions that I had received that was purely for understanding of buyback and uh, that was how to apply online which I'm sure I've already answered right what is the record date for TCS buyback as I said that record date have not yet announced uh, that will be announced by TCS itself so you need to be uh, stay updated uh, please download our mobile application okay so if you download our mobile application you will keep on getting the recent updates under the notification sector so this question i am getting what if i don't have shares in my in my dmat and uh, if i applied so in case if you do not have shares in your dmat and you place the order online the way i just did it right now a few minutes back simply the order will get rejected The next question I have is, uh, I have taken uh, LAS, will I be eligible for buyback against uh, this TCS? So answer to this question is, uh, if you have done any kind of LAS, you have blocked your shares or as collateral you have been used, that means it is in a block scenario. You won't be eligible, you won't be able to apply for buyback. Because in order to apply for buyback, those quantities has to be free okay how to apply for open market buyback okay now as i said that buyback are of two types one is open market and one is 
tender okay so in open market it will not come under specific uh, option of buyback okay this in that scenario that company who is doing an open market buyback directly buys from the open market so if you are holding shares of that company you just have to place your normal sell order or market order right but in tender the company offers a premium that is why tender buyback is always considered to be uh, you know a, a, a option wherein investors can make money because here you the company pays additional premium onto the existing price let me see the next question What is tentative? This has been asked by Mr. Dipankar Das. Uh, what is the tentative price for TCS buyback? However, the price is already announced. They will be buying back at two one double zero, two thousand one hundred. Okay. So if you see, uh, just in the morning, I have gone through uh, the current market price. It was around nineteen hundred eighty-eight something. So approximately, there was still a hundred and twelve rupees, hundred rupees plus per share, right? So that is still the buying opportunity, or you can say the investment. Uh, opportunity at this point of time what is record date this has been asked by mr vikram uh, mr vikram a uh, record date is a date wherein the company announces that as on this date because buyback there are many investors who are holding shares of that company right but they cannot do it for each and every one it will be only done on a specified on a specified date as on that date the number of investors who are having that shares in their demand will be eligible okay so as i said on first the company announces that i will do a buyback it is just an hypothetical example to make it clear for all our investors so for example on the first of the day of the month uh, the company announces that we will go for a buyback okay and the moment this announcement is done they also announce the price so the current market price is say for example 1500 rupees and they said we will take buyback and our offer price for each share would be 2000 so here you can see there is a clear earning opportunity of 500 rupees per shares right so people start buying those shares okay and since then the price rallies a bit okay maybe it can come to say for example 1600 or 1700 all right and then immediately next week on 7th the company says i am going to announce the buyback date uh sorry record date and say for example they say the record date as 15th so if the record date is 15th that means on 15th of that month that date there the shares of those companies has to be in your demand account if you purchase after that you will not be eligible for buyback so that is why record date is very important right so this question is asked by mr yogesh gaushinde uh, modes of applying buyback uh, of course you can apply offline as well as online if you are having hdfc securities account uh, we have made this state of art technology out here for you where you no need to go anywhere if you are having shares in your account and for that particular buyback just go to the buyback section and you can apply for it online just in couple of clicks this question is asked by mr arun kumar what is buyback when company announces a buyback okay so mr arun kumar as i said uh, buyback is a process wherein company purchases or i would say repurchases their own shares okay the reason for buyback there can be many you know definitely the company is being really positive and uh, good going that is the reason they are opting for buyback right the majority of reasons why company go for buyback is either they have idle cash with them okay or sometimes they want to reduce the supply for ensuring the quality of the stock also one more reason is uh, when they opt for a employee recognition so that is when they opt for an employee recognition they purchase shares from the market okay through buyback and then they offer it to their employees to their certain level of employees as a esop employee stock option plan so that is also one of the reason okay this question is asked by mr sanjay 
uh, what is the maximum quantity eligible for TCS buyback 95 or 100 shares okay so as I said it depends upon you uh, Mr. Sanjay what how many shares you are holding in this scenario let's take an example you are holding 100, 100 shares okay but your eligibility will be in your offer letter you will receive an offer letter from your company please check your email you would have received the offer letter from TCS which will define what is your uh, entitlement percentage so you are holding 100 shares as I said if for example if they are saying 10% then you will be eligible for buyback for making 10 shares as buyback if they say it's 20% then 20 shares you will be eligible to put across in buyback but that doesn't mean you will apply only for 20 you can apply for all 100 it is as I said earlier that depends upon the subscription uh, state status that point of time it might happen they can take all 100 it might happen they will take only as per the entitlement so it is better to be safe you can apply for 100 percent okay now this question is asked uh, this is a follow-up question again it has been asked how to place order online can you show it one more time definitely over to my computer screen now okay you have logged in okay this is your login page looks like okay where can you find buyback you can find buyback under equity option you just need to keep your cursor here you get a drop down in that the last option is buyback so you need to click on dashboard the moment you click on dashboard you will be able to see the current buybacks which are there okay so one click was getting into the dashboard second click will be on apply the last option under action okay just enter the quantity say for example you was having 100 quantity you can put all 100 you can put 20 also as per your eligibility but if you wish you can put all 100 also right so second the third click was to enter the quantity and the fourth click is submit so just in four to five clicks on our website you can place this buyback order online hassle free all right so now i will take the last question what are the risk involved in buyback it's a very good question let me tell you what are the risk involved in buyback now the risk involved in buyback as an investment product is that it's acceptance ratio okay as i said you take 100 shares but it is not mandatory that company will take all 100 shares so at times the acceptance ratio is less sometimes it is full also but at times it is less depending upon the acceptance ratio uh, you limit your profits so that is one thing uh, one risk i would say and secondly post buyback prices fall sharply so whatever as I said that you were having about 100 shares, 20 were eligible. You sold off 20, you made profit, you made money on that 20. But what about the rest 80? The rest 80 is probably the if the prices are falling, uh, if you sell, then you won't make money out of that. So it is better to stay invested. Equities are always good in long term. And please check that these are the very big brands which are coming up. Uh, TCS, Wipro, in fact TCS coming in for the second time. So definitely you can go ahead with that if you wish. Alright. So thank you so much for joining uh, today's exclusive webinar and uh, I have, I wish you all have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.